have a very self-destructive tendency. Since my mother died, I've got to be honest, that's kind of made itself clear in other ways. Um, I think there has to be some element of, in the, of that in why I was basically letting, not taking care of myself, really. You find an alternative to that pain. Late November 2016, Oxfordshire, England, less than two months before his death. George makes a call to ex-partner Kenny Goss, and they make plans to meet. The couple met just before George's mother died and were together for 13 years. And the Texan art dealer is known to be a positive influence on George. It wasn't the big love at first sight thing that he'd had with Anselmo, but they had an affinity. So Kenny always struck me as the next best thing for George. Throughout their relationship, George's drug use escalated, something Kenny disapproved of. At times, he intervened. In an interview with a British newspaper, George's former partner, Kenny Goss, spoke of how he would intervene around George's drug taking. Quote, I would find drugs and flush everything down the toilet, thinking if I just get rid of it, he won't get more. He was absent-minded, so would just think he lost them. This indicates to me that Kenny was concerned about significantly more than casual drug use. I want to find out about the substances he was taking, as this may get me closer to finding out what was going on in his body when he died. There are reports of his substance abuse. And once that comes into someone's life, then it's not just George making decisions. It's George you know, with, with chemicals that are affecting those decisions. 